everyone, today we're going to show you how to make this really cool gradient generator which selects awesome random colours or lets you choose your own and then displays the gradient on the screen so you can copy and paste that bad boy and best of all, if you use the surprise me button and it selects dark colours you will see that it changes the text so you still have a nice contrast with the dark background so let's get into it. So here is my HTML, which consists of a form, which has got these two pickers. And HTML helpfully has these color pickers built into it. You just have to use an input and the type of color. And they do render slightly differently across browsers, but they work nicely. And you can even select different types of colors. So yeah pretty handy. Now those pickers are labelled with the label tags and I've given them an ID of picker1 and picker2. And I also have a paragraph with an ID of gradient which is where I'm going to display the gradient code for you to copy and paste. And finally there's my surprise me button which will generate a random gradient. Let's hop on over to the JS and get this bad boy working. So as usual, the first thing we want to do is grab our elements from the DOM with document.getElement by ID. So I need const picker1 is document.getElement by ID picker1. Just copy that down to do two. And then my form is this colored, currently pink square. And then gradient is going to be my paragraph. And the final one I need is my button. Const btn is btn. So what I want to happen is for the background gradient to change every time I select a new color from the input. And for that to happen, I need to use the input event listener. So we do picker one dot add event listener input, and that's going to run a function called generate and do exactly the same for picker two. So next, we want to grab the colors which are selected from our pickers. That's nice and easy. We just declare a new variable. So const color one equals picker one dot value. And the same for picker two. And that will be color two. So now let's console log those and see what the console spews out. So it's currently showing the same color and that is because I've set them both to be picker one. In fact, this one should be picker two. So now you see it's showing the two different colors and hopefully, yes, it updates when I select a new color. But now to make that all important gradient. And I want that gradient to go on the form. So to do that, form.style.background. And that's going to equal, and then we'll use string interpolation. And it's a linear gradient with color one and color two. It has worked. Now this is the most simple form of linear gradient you can do. If we hop on over to W3Schools, you'll see you can also change the direction, you can change where the color stop is, and so on and so forth. But I'm going to keep it nice and simple for now. Now I also think it's really nice if our button has the same gradient. So to do that, just simply copy that line down and BTN. So now you'll see my Gradient is updating and being added to my form and my button. Nice. So now I want to display the code for this gradient on the screen so it can be copied and pasted. And to do that, we do gradient, which is the currently empty paragraph. And then I'm going to set the text content to equal the same gradient we've declared above. So you will see the gradient is now nicely displayed and Updating when I select a new color. Fabuloso. Now let's wire up this surprise me button so it makes nice random gradients when you click. Now to do this, I'm going to use a dependency I really like called random color. And what's good about this is that if you generate a truly random color, you can get some not so great colors. But what random color does is it returns only attractive colors and it deems colors attractive if they are bright colors with high saturation, if you're wondering. 
And the other thing that's nice about random colour is it's just so much easier than faffing around with this kind of thing. So yeah, win-win. So how to use it? Well, first off, head to the randomcolor.llll.com page and then click through to GitHub and then hit the link to download the latest minified version of Random Color, which is this link here. And then copy that in to your HTML. Let's use that now to generate a random color gradient. And to do that, I'm going to add an event listener onto the button, listening for the click, and that's going to run a function called surprise me, which I will now write below. Function surprise me. And then what that function is going to do is set the values of the pickers to the color generated when you run random color. And then I want to run the generate function again. And I'm also going to move this generate declaration down here. So let's give that a go. So you'll see it is now generating lovely bright random colors and adding them to the form and the button. And what's cool about random color is you can also set what type of color you would like. So for example, I can open up a curly bracket in picker one and choose only blues. Let's try that. So you will see now the top colors are always different shades of blue. And another cool thing you can do with this is set the luminosity. So you can have either light or dark. So let's give that a go. So you will see now that this is generating light colors at the top and dark colors at the bottom. And that is what I'm going to use to change the font color depending on whether the surprise me button has generated light or dark colors. And to do that, we first need to generate a random number, either one or two. And that looks like const num equals math.seal math.random and then because it's between one and two we do two and now we're going to run a conditional depending on whether one or two has been returned so if none is equal to one let's say that's going to be generating the light colors so i'll put these in here and switch this for light otherwise i want it to generate the dark colors so copy this at dark so now let's see that in action. You'll see it's either generating both light or both dark. So if it generates light colors, we of course want our text to be black. And to do that, we do form dot style dot color equals, go for the old OOO and the same for the button. And if it generates dark colors, we want white. So that's FFF. Let's check that out. So light color, ooh, dark color has generated white, dark, dark, and switching back to black when we have a nice light gradient. And we can copy and paste our lovely gradient code. So when we find one we like, we can take it to our nearest paint center, order the paint, and then make a feature wall just like this. How awesome is that? Oh, one final thing I will do is change this declaration at the bottom to surprise me so that now you get a fancy new gradient every time you reload the page. I could just come back to this gradient generator again and again. I think it is the business. Now one thing to bear in mind is that when you select colors using the pickers, this won't check the contrast and change the text color accordingly. It is possible to do that but that would make this video probably twice the length that it is. So I will save that for another time. But in the meantime, enjoy generating brilliant gradients. And if you like this rainbow colored video, please consider hitting one of the buttons below, preferably like and or subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.